I think that nature plays out on a moduli space algebra. That is an algebra in a point space. And I think, I think that nature uses abstract geometry and it can be expressed numerically. Our whole formalism is to build everything from gravity, where we define gravity as one of five isomorphisms. So you have edge contraction, you have rotation, you have folding discreetly into n, n plus one dimensions, and then you have um, um, smooth curvature, okay, Curv curvature of n dimension into m dimensional n plus one non non discreetly. So the origami way of folding a clone into the next dimension, or the smooth way of curving an n dimensional space to live in an n plus one dimensional space. Right, so the, to me, the jitterbug means this, like not changing any lens like fix the certain lens right. and they also has the vector equilibrium and do a rotation. So because so any projection uh, would be would no longer be So general. we're not so our obviously our formalism of those choice of four is the rotation formalism. For me the jitterbug waves in a quasi crystal will more be like a, a, a set of phason flips which have an harmony together mm -hmm. and happens at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but back to what I'm saying, our rotation, our expression of curvature or gravity is as a rotation. And um, Yeah, then I agree, but the jitterbug, I mean, it, for itself, it has it indicated the vector equilibrium. It includes that kind of symmetry thing. Well, it, it, yeah, we can make a new word, but just with you guys right now for fun, I want to um, inspire you with the, under, with the visual of what it would look like to you if you saw a network of, of jitterbug transformations where, where everything is conserved and the rotations are happening. When you look back at a fast speed, you see, that you see it like a wave-like thing. And then when you zoom in and you slow the time down, you see it is made of these discrete rotations that are conserved everywhere. So for me, I just want to share Jitterbug Wave as an inspirational visual for you. Okay, I um, totally not, share not that we this should use that because yes, it could confuse people. Okay. I agree. It's just to illustrate how to see in 3D what we have already seen in 2D with the ribbons. You're literally talking about the geometric frustration or or information, basically conservation of information, yeah. right? The yeah. information is encoded either by by curvature or by twist, by rotation, by all these different methods. You can call it the information or, you know, Remy call it geometrical frustration, but whatever that is, thing is, that, that's what it, it matters. That's what it creates the information. Yeah, that's the so, base information. Yeah. So that is, that is what is uh, conserved. The conserved, yes.